Teacher V is here and welcome again sa aking channel. Pag-uusapan natin ngayon ang combined variations. Pero bago tayo mag-start, shoutout muna tayo sa mga supporters natin dyan. Shoutout kay Anjali Prulia, Rian Jansel Dimapilis, and Ralph Soriano Sumugod. Maraming salamat! Kaya comment na kayo sa ating comment section. Pwede kayong magtanong at sasagutan natin yan. Pwede ka rin mag-like sa video natin na to at mag-subscribe na rin. Tara, simulan na natin yung ating topic. Ang lesson natin today ay tungkol sa combined variations. Combined variations refers to a situation in which one quantity varies directly or jointly and inversely as the other quantities. Makikita ninyo, nag-combine na nito yung tatlong klase ng variations na pinag-aralan natin. Yung direct variations, joint variations, and inverse variations. Let's say we have W varies jointly as X and Y and inversely as Z. Merong dalawang klase ng variations na nabanggit dito yung joint variations and inverse variations. Paano natin yan isusulat in our mathematical sentence? To write it in our mathematical sentence, we have the W is equal to K, X, and Y over Z. Yung X and Y dito, X and Y ay nabanggit doon sa ating statement. At dahil joint Variation, ayan siya. Multiplication, lang yung dalawang variable na yun, and then multiply to our k or constant of variation. Pero aside sa joint variation, binanggit din ang inverse variation. Sa inverse variation, di ba meron tayong divide doon? Kaya, ilalagay natin yung over or divide by z. To get our constant of variation, or yung k, we have wz over xy. I-multiply lang natin yung w and z, tapos i-divide din natin sa product ng x and y. Let us have an, another example. m varies directly as n and inversely as p. Dalawang variations ang nabanggit dito. Direct and inverse variation. Isusulat lang natin siya ng ganito. M is equal to KN over P. Minultiply natin yung K or constant of variation sa ating N. Kasi nga ito ay direct variation. Directly. Aside from that, inversely din siya sa P. Kaya i-divide natin yung K and N natin sa P. Another example, we have X varies directly as the cube of Y and inversely as the product of W and Z. Direct and inverse variation ulit ito. Kaya isusulat natin siya ng ganito. X is equal to K Y cube over W Z. Bakit meron tayong inilagay na 3 dito sa ating mathematical sentence? Minanggit kasi dito sa ating statement na cube of y. Pag sinabi natin cube, ang exponent nun ay 3. y cube. And then, inversely, kaya meron tayong divide na w and z. The force of attraction of a body varies directly as its mass and inversely as the square of the distance from the body. Direct and inverse ulit ito, kaya isusulat natin siya ng ganito. F is equal to K times M over D squared. Meron tayong M dito. And lagi tayong may K, kaya K times M divide by D squared. Bakit merong 2 dito sa ating mathematical statement? Binanggit kasi dito sa given natin na square of the distance. Kaya kailangan nating lagyan ng square yung ating d 
or yung ating distance. Ngayon, mag-solve naman tayo or mag-complete naman tayo. Let's say we have this problem, Z varies jointly as Y and W and inversely as the square of X. If Z is equal to 189, Y is equal to 28, W is equal to 16, and X is equal to 8, find a, the value of the variation constant. Ito yung una nating hahanapin, yung constant of variation o yung k. Pangalawa, yung variation equation. Pangatlo, yung value daw ng z when y is equal to 24, w is equal to 4, and x is equal to 6. Tatlo yung hahanapin natin. Pero syempre, isa-isahin lang muna natin para hindi tayo mahirapan. Unahin muna natin yung constant of variation. I-translate natin yung words na to into mathematical statement. Z varies jointly as x and y and inversely as the square of x. Pag tinanslate natin siya into mathematical sentence, ito yung ating magiging equation. Z is equal to k times wy dahil jointly wy and inversely as the square of x. So, divide natin sa x squared dahil nga merong inversely or inverse variation. And may binanggit na square kaya meron tayong square sa ating x. Next, isulat natin yung mga given. z is equal to 189 W is equal to 16, X is equal to 8, and Y is equal to 28. Then, isubstitute natin dito sa ating mathematical sentence. Dito. Palitan natin yung mga letters ng value niya or ng number. Yung Z natin is 189 is equal to K. Wala tayong K, kaya isulat lang natin K. Ang W natin ay 16. Ang atin namang y, ito y ay 28. And then divide natin sa 8 squared. Yung x natin ay 8. Pinalitan lang natin yung x natin ng 8. And then isimplify natin. I-multiply natin yung 16 and 28. 16 times 28. Then yung 8 squared. 16 times 28 is 448. Times K, kaya meron tayong K na nilagay din dito. 448K over 8 squared or 8 times 8, that is 64. 448K divided by 64. I-divide natin yan. Pag dinivide natin yung 448 sa 64, ang magiging sagot dyan ay 7 and then yung K natin. Ang kailangan nating makuha ay yung K. Kaya para makuha ang ating K, i-divide natin both sides sa 7. Para maiwan na lang ang ating K. Or 7 and divide by 7 is 1 na lang. And 189 divided by 7, that is 27. 27 is equal to our K. Ibig sabihin, nakuha na natin yung ating K or constant of variation. And that is... 27. K is equal to 27. Nakuha na natin or nasagutan natin yung una. Yung letter A. The value of the variation constant. Paano naman yung ating variation equation? Sagutan naman natin yung letter B. Tandaan na ang nakuha natin K ay 27. At ang ating mathematical sentence base sa ating problem is Z is equal to K times W times Y over X squared. Ang gagawin lang natin para makuha yung equation of variation is substitute natin or isulat natin yung nakuha natin K. Then, kopyahin na natin yung iba pa. Katulad nito, kinopya lang natin to dito pero pinalitan natin yung K ng value na nakuha natin. Kaya meron tayong Z is equal to 27W times Y over X squared. 
eto na yung magiging sagot natin sa letter B. Madali lang to, di ba? Wala kang gagawin computation, ilalagay mo lang yung K. Ang answer natin sa letter B, Z is equal to 27 times W times Y over X squared. Paano naman itong letter C? Yung value ng Z. Ayan, letter C yung value ng Z. So, itong Z ang kailangan natin mahanap. Sulat lang natin yung mga nakuha na nating values. Yung K is 27. Ito yung ating equation. And then, yung W daw ay ilan? Ang W daw ay 4. Ang Y ay 24. At ang X natin ay 6. I-substitute natin sa ating equation. Z is equal to yung K, which is 27. Yung W is 4. At yung Y naman is 24. Divide natin sa X squared. 6 squared or 6 times 6 is equal to 36. Then simplify na natin. 27 times 4 times 24. Ang magiging answer natin dyan is 2,000. 592. I-divide natin sa 36. Ang ating magiging Z is equal to 72. Ano ang value ng Z natin? When Y is equal to 24, W is equal to 4, and X is equal to 6, ang magiging value ng Z natin is 72. Nakuha na natin or nasugutan na natin yung A, B, and C. Kaya ganun lang mag-solve ng combined variations. Una, kailangan lang isulat mo muna or i-translate mo muna into mathematical sentence yung given. And then, hanapin ang ating k or constant of variation. Ito yung mga dapat nating tandaan. Ayan siya. W is equal to k times x and y over z. Ito yung example natin kanina. Ang tawag natin dito ay combined variation kasi na meron siyang joint variation at merong inverse variation. Sa pagkuha naman ng K, multiply lang yung W and Z, pati ang X and Y, and then i-divide sila. So words, ito yung ginagamit natin, varies jointly, then inversely. Okay? Kaya sana nakatulong ang video natin ito para masagutan mo ang mga learning tasks sa math modules mo. Kailangan lang talaga dito is uh, patience mo, hindi lang yung galing mo sa mathematics. And that's it. Sana makatulong ang video nito sa pagsagot mo ng iyong mga learning tasks sa iyong mathematics module. Huwag mo rin kalimutang i-share to sa iba. Sabi nga nila, sharing is caring. Kaya i-share mo to sa mga classmates mo or sa iba pang mga students na nangangailangan ng tulong sa math. Okay? I-like mo na rin at mag-comment sa ating comment section para naman mas ganahan akong mag-video ng mga lessons natin sa grade 9 mathematics. And see you again sa susunod kong video. Goodbye!